everyone, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a doll pizza. Here are the ingredients, and you're just going to mix that in a bowl. And then microwave that for 20 seconds. And you should get a baked look, and then you want to mix that around until you get a Play-Doh consistency. And then I'm just rolling out a section of the dough and taking a straw, you can use it as a cookie cutter to create little circles. And if they get stuck, just blow out the other end. And then you're going to take a finger and flatten out one of the circles. And then taking the straw, you're going to create a little moon shape. And then make it a little bit thinner until you get the shape of a piece of a pepper. And I'm just going to make a few more of those. And then you want to take another one of your little pepperoni circles, flatten it out with your finger again. And then I'm using a pin to create little lines going down and then a line going out to create a mushroom. And then I'm taking a large amount of the dough and flattening that out. And then I'm just taking something circular I found in the house to cut out the pizza shape. And then just remove the dough around it. And then I'm just taking a piece of clear plastic as a little spatula to lift it off of the surface. And now I'm just taking a butter knife and I'm going to cut out a little slice of pizza. And then for the thick crust pizza, I just cut out a really thick piece, and then I'm just using my finger to flatten out the middle. And then flattening out another piece, I'm cutting it into little strips. And then once you have all those, you're going to want to cut them into little pieces. And then taking each one of those little pieces, you're going to want to roll it out. And then you want to take all those and put them on a sheet and cook in the oven for an hour. Now that they're done, it's time to decorate them. So taking the little pepperoni pieces, which are just little circles, I'm taking some red paint, which is called Napball Crimson, and then this reddish brown paint. And now moving on to the peppers, I'm taking these two light green chalk, or chalk pastels, and I'm just taking the edge of my scissors and just shaving off a little bit. 
And then taking a little eyeshadow applicator, I'm just going to smudge that onto them. And to give them a little shine, I'm just going to add some Mod Podge. And now for our pizza, I'm taking a golden yellow chalk pastel, a, a warm brown and a dark brown, and an orange. And then I'm just taking the edge of my scissor to shave off a little bit. Just mix that together. And then using your eyeshadow, ash, eyeshadow applicator, you're just gonna rub that around the edge. And if you don't have an eyeshadow applicator, you could just use your finger. And then taking the same reddish paint we painted our pepperoni with, I'm just going to create the sauce on the pizza. And then I just added on the cheese, the mushrooms, and the peppers. The mushrooms I just used gray chalk pastels and shaded them with. And then the other one I made just a pepperoni pizza. With the little slice. And we are done with the pizzas. And I'm just taking this little container we made in the pizza kitchen. And I'm filling up the little containers with the extra um, toppings. And now for the pizza peel or pizza shovel basically, I'm just taking some skinny sticks and then I'm just going to line them up. And you want to see it depending on the size of your pizza. And I'm just gluing them onto one of the skinny sticks. And then I did the same thing on the other side and glued a skinny stick at the bottom. And now for the doll apron. I'm just using some red fabric and taking the doll of your choice, I'm just going to lay them on top of the fabric and mark their body. And then using a ruler to create straight lines. And then I'm just taking my scissors and I'm going to follow those lines and cut it out. Once I have that, I'm just taking some tacky glue or any kind of fabric glue and I'm just putting that on the edges. And then you just want to fold the edges down. And then you want to do that to the top and all the other sides. And then I'm just cutting off any extra strings showing. And then I'm set that aside and taking your fabric again. You're going to want to cut a strip. And then it should be pretty wide because we're going to take our tacky glue and we're going to fold in the seams. Once that's done, I'm doing the same thing to another strip.
and you want to fold in the edges. Now that you have two, taking going back to your apron, you can fold up the top to create a pocket. And then I'm going to just gonna take some tacky glue and glue it to the side. And now taking the strip, I cut in half and I glue it to each side. And taking the top one, I'm just gonna glue it to the top. And now you wanna measure that onto your doll. And you can use anything to attach it, either hook and eye or Velcro. And this is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions or craft ideas, just comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!